In order to fully comprehend energy psychology, it is imperative to understand the fundamental principles of Eastern medicine on which it is based. In this section, we will discuss the layers of energy that underlie Chinese medicine. Eastern medicine is over 5,000 years old, and there are several basic tenets for this discipline. One of the main principles is the concept of balance. The Chinese believe that the body is both self-regulatory and self-healing. The energy that is used to balance the body is called qi, which essentially is the same as electricity, or to be more precise, electromagnetic energy. This energy runs throughout the body in a series of complementary systems. These systems include the basic grid, the biofield or auras, the chakras, and the meridians. The basic grid is inside the body and is the foundation for the system. The biofield is made up of seven energy fields outside of the body that correspond to the seven chakras. These include the catheric template, which is the outermost structured layer associated with the crown chakra, the celestial body, which is associated with the brow chakra, the etheric template, which is related to the throat chakra, the spiritual or astral layer, which corresponds to the heart chakra, the mental layer, which is related to the solar plexus, the emotional layer, which is related to the sacral center, and the physical or etheric layer, which is associated with the root chakra. The seven major energy centers or chakras include the root chakra, whose major influence seems to be about security and survival, the sacral chakra, which is associated with sexuality and pleasure, the solar plexus chakra, which is related to a sense of power and decision making. The heart chakra, whose influence concerns caring and forgiveness. The throat chakra, that is associated with self-expression. The brow chakra, which is related to perception and intuition. And the crown chakra, which is aligned with purpose, meaning, and spirituality. There are 14 separate meridians, which essentially are rivers of energy made up of separate acupoints that amplify energy. Each meridian is related to a different organ and is associated with different feelings and a different element, such as earth, water, metal, fire, or wood, which are the five elements in Chinese medicine. The spleen meridian is associated with feelings of codependence, disgust, and despair. And the stomach meridian, which is associated with codependence, overconcern, and a lack of control over events. Both of these meridians share the element of earth. The large intestine meridian is related to feeling stuck or defensive. The lung meridian is often associated with grief and yearning. Both of these meridians share the element of metal. The bladder meridian is associated with fear and paralyzed will. The kidney meridian is related to the emotions of fear, dread, and bad memory. These meridians are water meridians. The gallbladder meridian governs resentment, depression, and stubbornness. The liver meridian is associated with anger and frustration. Both of these meridians share the wood element. The small intestine meridian is associated with the feelings of abandonment and vulnerability. The heart meridian is related to feelings of insecurity and deep unrequited love. The triple warmer meridian 
is connected with feelings of depletion and suppression. The sex and circulation meridian is associated with instability and muddled thinking. These meridians are all fire elements. The governing vessel and conception or central vessel are both unrelated to a particular organ and are often called the strange flows. The feelings associated with these meridians are guilt, shame, and low self-esteem. There are many other feelings associated with each meridian and a more complete list is included in the following chart. All of these systems can be influenced and treated for increased general health or medical purposes. However, the same systems can also be treated for emotional health through energy psychology. Of course, energy therapists do not subscribe to the traditional separation of physical health and emotional health. The mind and the body are seen as intricately interwoven. When there is a problem with a person's emotional balance, there is always a corresponding problem in the body. Likewise, when the body is compromised, a person's emotions always become imbalanced in some manner. <laughs>